Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ikea. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. So y'all, I'm excited about today's video. I feel like I'm always excited about the videos, but hey, why not? Today though, I'm really excited because there is a new fragrance from K. Ali and I cannot wait to share it with you all. So if you are not new here, then you know that we love K. Ali over here on this channel. It's one of my favorite fragrance houses and I'm just a huge fan of the brand. I love me some Mona Catan. She is a friend in my head. And y'all, I was actually really surprised when this fragrance came out because they did just recently launch another fragrance, which was Sweet Diamond um, Pink Pepper 25. And that was a few months ago. So I was really excited and really surprised when they came out with this new fragrance. But today we are going to be talking about Utopia Vanilla Cocoa. Ooh, I am so excited y'all. I actually just got this in the mail. I ripped the packaging off of it and I ran up here and was like, you know what? I gotta film this video before I get too excited and start spraying it all over the place. I have to sit down and film this video for y'all. So we are going to get into all the details, the specs, my first impression, my thoughts on this fragrance, if I recommend it to you all, all of the good tea. So before we get started, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and as always, click that notification bell so you don't miss out on a single post. Now let's get into the fun stuff. All right, y'all, so I have here the new K. Ali fragrance, which is called Utopia Vanilla Cocoa, and this is number 21. So if you're not familiar with K. Ali fragrances, each of the fragrances have a number behind them, and that just represents the different trials and formulas that it actually took to perfect the fragrance. So this one went through about 21 different trials to make it absolutely perfect. Again, I just love when brands give us that detailed information because you can tell that they really took their time on their fragrances to perfect it for their customers. So that is a hit. Now the first thing I will say is that the package packaging of this fragrance is really really nice. The box is really nice. Um, you can't really see it in the camera but it actually has a little shimmer on the box which is a little bit different from their other boxes. Most of them are just kind of like a matte white but this one has a little bit of shimmer to it to add a little extra flair which I absolutely love. So I was watching Mona's YouTube video and she was explaining the process and her thoughts behind this fragrance and this fragrance is supposed to be very euphoric and it's supposed to take you to this place of paradise, your own kind of dream vacation. So for me, I'm like, okay, my dream vacation is to go to Bora Bora. Is this fragrance going to take me to Bora Bora um, or even just to the beach in paradise? That's what I'm anticipating. Um, Mona even mentioned that this may possibly be one of her favorite fragrances so I'm like okay girl that is um high stakes right there because most of the fragrances from Kayali are really really good so if she said that it might be one of her favorites I am trusting her so I'm gonna read um the notes off to you all but I wanted to just let you all know that this fragrance is actually an intense fragrance this is their second intense launch they previously launched the um Sweet Diamond Pink pepper which had 25% oil and I believe this one also has 25% oil and I just love a fragrance that has a high oil concentration because that means that it's a little bit more long lasting and again it is um, more intense so it should project a little bit further as well. So I am just super super excited to know that this has 25% oil. That is pretty awesome because you don't really find um, that high oil concentration in most designer or celebrity fragrances. You typically find that in niche fragrances. So when Mona gave us that information, I was like, okay, girl, y'all are on to something. But I'm not going to hold y'all. We're going to go into this fragrance. I'm going to um, let y'all know what I think about it and smell it first. And then I'll read off the notes to you all and give you my final thoughts. All right, y'all, so here is the bottle, which is so gorgeous. 
it's like this really pretty rose gold color and it's got this metallic feel to it the bottle is very similar to the pink pepper one except that one is pink now I think this one only comes in one size which is 50 milliliters and I believe this was a hundred dollars I hope they expand to create more sizes because I am a type of person I like to buy the bigger one but I totally get it because this is supposed to be something that you take on vacation or you travel with and this is actually the perfect travel size so I get why they initially launched this size but I'm definitely interested in seeing if they'll come out with other sizes but I'm going to show you an up close um, visual of the bottle so that you can see what that looks like so here is the bottle it's super super pretty it's the same shape as all of their other fragrance bottles but it does have that metallic um, overlay to it which is so so beautiful ah, okay y'all I am so excited to get into this fragrance I got my little uh, testing paper right here we're about to spray it and see what this is all about y'all ready all right Okay, right off the bat, I definitely smell coconut. That's like the first note that I smell. And I smell a little bit of vanilla as well. Mm. This is a little sweet, but not overly sweet. The coconut is really standing out to me. And it is like a creamy kind of coconut. Oh yeah, this smells so, so good. I also can smell the jasmine in here or some other kind of like white floral note. Oh yeah, so that blend between the vanilla and the coconut is so good. This is definitely a vacation fragrance. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, this is good. This is really good. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna read the notes for you and then I'm going to spray it on my skin and kind of see which notes stand out to me. So in the top notes, there's honeysuckle, pear blossom, Italian lemon, and coconut milk. In the heart, there's a jasmine sandback, there's gardenia, tuberose, and amberette. And then in the base, there's sandalwood, patchouli, there's also vanilla bourbon, and musks. Mm -hmm. so I definitely smell the musks in here definitely you get that vanilla I can actually smell a little bit of pear and lemon in here as well but ooh, that blend between that vanilla the musk and the coconut is really really good again this is more of a creamy coconut so when it says coconut milk I definitely understand because it's not like a in your face kind of coconut but it's just very very creamy and it's really really good mmm this is good let me spray it on my skin just to see which notes stand out to me the most Ugh. okay so first off when I spray it on my skin in that opening you definitely get that blast of coconut milk as I was mentioning but I do smell the pear and the lemon so let me just see how it smells when it dries down a little bit. Mm. So I'm also smelling the gardenia and the jasmine as well. I feel like this would be a great layering combination with the Deja Vu white flower just because that jasmine and the gardenia in this note it seems to be very similar to the same notes that are in Deja Vu white flower. Mm. Yeah this is really really good. In that dry down I definitely get that um, vanilla it's a little bit more prominent once it dries it down but right in the opening that vanilla that coconut that lemon and pear blend really really nicely in the opening it's a faint hint of vanilla but once it dries down like i said it's a little bit more prominent and it smells really really good uh this 
fragrance actually reminds me of something. So it doesn't remind me of Soleil Blanc from Tom Ford. Initially when I was thinking about a vacation fragrance that's kind of like what naturally go comes to mind is Soleil Blanc from Tom Ford. But this is actually giving me Sol de Janeiro vibes. So it's I think it's Chirosa 62 from Sol de Janeiro. The one that's got like coconut and vanilla. I actually have that body mist and this fragrance is reminding me of that. It's taking me definitely to a tropical place. It's definitely taking me to Bora Bora. Um, but yeah, it's giving me the same vibes as Chirosa 62 from So De Janeiro. So if you smell that fragrance, this one is kind of along the same lines. Of course, it doesn't smell exactly the same. I don't even think that this is a dupe. I do feel like I get that same vibe and feeling in Utopia Vanilla Coco as I do in the Chirosa 62 fragrance from So De Janeiro. Oh yeah, this is such a great fragrance. So I previously ranked all of the Kaali fragrances that were currently out at the time, which were six. I ranked them from number six to number one. I'll be sure to link that for you guys so that you can check that video out. Now that they have this new fragrance, I'm trying to think about where I would rank this in the Kaali fragrances. And I think that I would rank this one at number four. I still can't put this in the top three um, just because I love Deja Vu White Flower. I love Sweet Diamond and vanilla is my absolute favorite but I feel like I would put this one right above musk I feel like this one is like a great balance between the deja vu white flower fragrance and the musk and even the vanilla as well but I would put this right above musk this one seems to just have like a little bit more depth to it and it's just a little bit more fun I feel like I would grab this one a little bit more than musk so I would probably put this at number four four and move musk down to number five if you watch that video then you kind of know the order that I'm referring to again I'll link it down below for you to check out but yeah I'll definitely put this at probably number four my number four favorite Kaali fragrance now I haven't worn it and tested out the longevity and project in projection so that number may change but as of right now I think that this one is number four uh this is so divine such a great fragrance i see why mona just sprays it and sprays it because it is so good and it's definitely euphoric for sure for sure euphoric mm. this is taking me to paradise okay it's actually been rainy and nasty where i live so this fragrance is definitely lifting my spirits and making me want to go on vacation okay it's definitely making me want to be in the nice warm sun and chilling on the beach. So I actually have a vacation coming up soon and this one is probably going to be one of the fragrances that I pack because it's definitely a vibe y'all. It's a vibe. So my overall thoughts on the new fragrance from K. Ali which is Utopia Vanilla Coco 21. I think that this fragrance is really nice. I love the presentation. I love the packaging, which is definitely consistent with all of the other fragrances from K. Ali, which I'm definitely here for. I do like that the packaging kind of has its rose gold element to it. It's a little bit different, but the actual heart of the packaging and the design is still the same as all of their other fragrances. Now, the bottle, I definitely wish that they would come out with other sizes. And as I'm speaking about this right now, they could probably Probably have different sizes but at the time of purchase they actually only had one fragrance size so I hope that they do expand to create a variety of different sizes because I know that I'm a type of person that likes to buy the full size but other people may not want to commit to a full size and they do have smaller travel size bottles in all of their other fragrances so I'm hoping that they will come out with a variety of different sizes to um, cater to different people now aside from the packaging the actual fragrance and juice itself is so so good i really like this 
um i think that this is a fragrance that is definitely um very euphoric i think that this represents everything that they wanted it to represent this takes me to paradise it's, it makes me think of a tropical vacation so if you're into vanillas and coconutty fragrances but you still want something a little floral i definitely recommend this one i think that this one is also something that would be great layered as i mentioned i think that this one would be layered perfectly with deja vu white flower i also think that this one would be layered really nicely with sweet diamond because it'll add like a little bit more spice this one it's not super spicy to me um this is just more on the vanilla coconut side musky but not super super spicy so i feel like if you add a little bit of that sweet diamond to it you'll get like this nice vanilla coconut pink pepper vibe and it'll be really really good so i'm definitely going to try layering more of their fragrances together with this new one just to see what kind of vibe I get but overall I really do like this fragrance I think that this is a great launch it's a great surprise at that because we did not know that this was coming and I personally did not expect this but it is a great surprise um, I just want to say congratulations to Mona and the Kaali team on an amazing launch this is such a nice fragrance I think that this one is versatile for so many people and I definitely think that this is blind by worthy this is a fragrance that I feel isn't offensive you probably could wear this during the daytime and at night it's one of those fragrances that I would probably wear at nighttime on the beach I would wear this at nighttime on vacation and during the day this is going to work well in the warmer months I don't know if I would wear this in the winter just because I like heavy hitters in the winter to me this isn't like a crazy heavy hitter but this this is definitely a versatile fragrance that you can wear all throughout the day and not necessarily um, during a specific time of day again I think that this is blind by worthy and I think a lot of people will enjoy this fragrance so comment down below and let me know what your dream vacation is and also what your favorite vacation fragrance is I would love to know because again I am planning out vacations this year and I always like to plan out the fragrances that I'll be taking on those trips so let me know what some of your favorite vacation fragrances are but that is everything y'all thank you so much for watching this video again please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and be sure to follow me on social media you can check me out on instagram and on twitter my handle is at ikea alexis and it'll also be linked down below in the description as always again thank you so much for watching and i hope you all have a great one Bye.